<clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Jason here coming at you one more again. Uh, sorry for the late video. Uh, been, you know, working and whatnot. But anyway, no excuses. Uh, last week we had A2. This week we got Phoenix. Uh, touch on last week at A2. Everybody know the news of Roxon. Uh, pushing it too hard, y'all. Like, it was just, you know, like I told y'all. From 1st to 10th is a difference between 1st place getting paid a multi-million dollar contract, 10th place getting paid a hundred grand or barely coming to the races. The only thing separating 1st place to 10th place is 3 seconds, y'all. 3 seconds. So that's why these guys are risking their life to get, to get up there. You know, uh, Roxon, they say, you know, a rut, he caught a rut. Nah, he was pushing too fast. He was over the bars, leaned too far for it, same crash as Vegas. Uh, and when he hit the, the jump, his suspension was already compressed out like it was. He was going over. So contrary beliefs him hitting the rut, nah. <clears throat> and the track was just getting, it was getting dangerous. Uh, Malcolm kind of, you know, messed up in the woots, but after he regained, he was going backwards. He backed it down, you know, wasn't worth, wasn't worth the risk. Uh, Dungey did what he always do, you know. <laughs> anyway, enough of Dungey. Uh, the call with Anderson, I think that was too harsh. It's like Freezy don't get called for nothing. He's like that guy that you know runs up and push you, and they say, "Hit me, I'm gonna see you hit me." I don't know. I just don't know about the guy, uh, Anderson. I think that was too harsh of a call. He should have raised. Um, I don't know, guys. It's just, uh, I don't know what Supercross, it seemed like after Bubba got charged with that, you know, ADHD, whatever, it's just going crazy. But anyway, enough on that. Uh, Eli Tomac, I said it before, when you train and you practice, you need to ride with guys on your level or just a little hair below. You can't train and practice by yourself. Dungy, Anderson, Muscan, they all ride together. They all train together. These are guys are top, so they're pushing. They're 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 racing a supercross race every week at the practice track. Eli, you you, you know, you gotta move to Florida, brother. You gotta go down to Florida and train with somebody. Go to Baggots, whatever, stay in Florida, train with these guys. Enough on that. Uh, Malcolm, big props, you know, to come with a bike that you can actually, an average person, well, not an average person, but a multimillionaire can actually buy, well, I won't say multimillionaire, but the parts were bolt on. That's what I'm trying to say. The parts were bolt on, you know, big ups to, I think, FMF and Pro Circuit helped him out a lot. Big ups to those. And him finishing like that in the qualifier, statement, statement, uh, Something my buddy sent me on uh, on rocks and something he added. Uh, one of my mentors here. He texts me this. He goes, sad about Roxon, but a good lesson learned here. Roxon reminds me of Bubba. Can be the fastest man on the track, but don't know when to put in cru cruise control. Take and take a top three like Ryan Dungey. And it's true. Uh, being fastest man and wins being the fastest man and wins don't win championships consistency wins championships smart decisions every day every weekend every lap would pay off in the end with the win of a championship any guy that that masters this in supercross are going to retire great like Dungey. my buddy my mentor one of my mentors texts me that. True. Plain and simple. True. Uh, I don't know. Roxon, uh, he's got it. <laughs> he's got it. Eli's got it. I don't know about them guys. So anyway, moving on. 250. Sorry about that. Macarrow. Textbook. How to win a championship. Textbook. 
I mean, Justin Hill winning it. That was surprise to everybody. Everybody thought it was Austin Fortner, but it wasn't. It was Justin Hill. Um, him winning it. Plessinger taking second. And I think McGrath took third. But anyway, McGrath is playing it smart. He will win the West Championship. Mark my words. He's our local guy. Local hero. Uh, Plessinger, I think he's just pushing it too hard. You can't look at preparing for this race, preparing for that race. You got to prepare for the whole season. So if you beat your body up in this race, it's not going to be recovered for two races, three races down the road. I think Plessinger's got the speed. He's up there, just bad starts. Um, but I think he's just pushing it too hard. Uh, Fortner, he's there, he's coming. But he keeps making these Ricky Carmichael mistakes. Anybody remember Ricky Carmichael when he got on that? Uh, Pro Circuit uh, 125. I was there at the race at Supercross when he come to Charlotte. Just all over the track. Like, I think Ford needs to back it down. There hasn't ever been a freshman, rookie, superstar that comes out and blisters everybody. I don't think that hasn't happened since McGrath. But, uh... Fortner needs to back it down, take it easy, learn, 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 learn. Um, he's another one that I think if he don't back it down, he's going to wreck his body. That's the last thing you want to do is wreck your body. Look at Dungey. Dungey's never wrecked his body. But I think that's what Austin Fortner, if he don't back it down and learn, it's a different game. From amateurs to pros, it's like climbing a mountain. It's a different game. So, my advice to Officer Fortner, back it down. Just learn. We're going into Phoenix. Um, I don't know. I, Phoenix is, is always a turning point in Phoenix. You watch Phoenix. Uh, it's happening tonight. Sorry about the late video. It's 2 a.m., but it's happening tonight. You watch Phoenix. It's going to be a real turning point in Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is usually, in my opinion... Uh, <clears throat> where the fitness you see the guys that are <laughs> that were up front starting to fade you know you, you're going to see it uh, my prediction for Phoenix I want Justin in the 450 class I want Justin Anderson to come out and blow everybody's doors off I want him to put Dungey over a wall I want him to put Muscan over a wall and I want to see him blow everybody's doors off uh, Anderson, sorry about what did I say, Jason, Jason Anderson, sorry, not to say Justin, but my bad. Um, and I want me scan to be second. I don't want Dutch to be up there. Uh, Two fifty class. I don't know. I just, I don't know on this one. Like I said, it's, it's been like a box of chocolates. You know, we we never know what we're gonna get from week in and week out. Um, as we go more in the season, I can tell who's who's going to be up there. And like how I always pick their fitness. That's just it, their fitness. Um, and it's not the fitness of like A1 or San Diego or A2. I'm talking about that middle, middle of the season fitness, that mental strength. That's how I can tell. But anyway, guys, that's just my two cents. We got Phoenix tonight. Y'all post a comment down below who y'all think might win Phoenix. Uh, and I'll try to be back at you next week with what I think and what I found out on the inside about Phoenix. Uh, somebody told me they saw a picture of uh, Bubba's bike. Uh, my two cents on that, I want, I want a well-trained Bubba. You know, not an Alden Baker train, but very close to Alden Baker train, Bubba. I don't want... Uh, off the couch bubble. We all seen off the couch bubble last year. I don't want that. Uh, I don't. I don't want uh, super risk bubble. You know, I want a smart, trained, lean bubble. You know, and if he races this weekend, I'm not sure if he's in. Uh, prepare to hear the word quad. I don't think he did quad last year. Well, he was too big last year, <laughs> but uh. uh you don't hear that word quad no more, but if, if Bubba's racing out in Phoenix, prepare to hear that word quad. Uh, 
yeah but uh, anyway guys that's just my two cents on everything that happened uh in a2 and all and in phoenix like i said it's it's up in the air but anyway guys stay tuned post your comments i'll talk at you later